Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome to episode 41 of my Talents LP. Now, you might notice I'm starting on the title screen, the main menu here. And in the bottom right, you will see version 12 release client 1. So, this is an advanced copy of version 12. And I've I made a new world and played around with it a little bit just to make sure there were no uh, sudden crashes and to help... Uh, help Super Malparit and Burning Pet test uh, some features. And I actually have a custom feature just for this client, which is uh, being able to build containers with a click and drag command instead of clicking one time for each, which is really cool. So I'm going to load up my LP and uh, I did... Yeah, I made a new world just to mess around and test. And this actually has the berry system. Uh, you can see here, allow the berry system. Uh, so, but my my save game is, I don't believe it's compatible. So uh, that won't make it into my LP unless I start a fresh town, which I might. Uh, I might, I think I'll probably, t I really like towns and I want to keep playing it. So even after I get everything done with my current town that I want, I might, I might start a new one. We, we'll see. Uh, who knows? And I could even, I could bury, uh, bury my first town and then start a new town on top of it, which would be kind of cool. Um, and, and assuming Joseph Stookley stays alive, I might try to ha somehow hax him as a uh, citizen or something for my new town. Who knows? Um, we'll see if I can, if there might be an option to do that one day or if I can figure out how to copy and paste the correct files. So, all right, saved games, uh, Vax LP, here we go. Uh, hopefully, now this is a this is a, a preview build, so there may indeed be some crashes here. Uh, I immediately noticed that the cave is brighter than I remember it being. Just right off the bat, for one thing. Um, so what were we doing here? I actually don't remember. I think we had... We're down on a new level. And... Uh, it looks like there's a snicker fighting some heroes. So it looks like we got some heroes down on dungeon level. On this dungeon level fighting. Now what uh, game speed are we on? Huh. I think it almost looks like the font's been redone. Maybe it's just... I don't know, I, I can swear this list looks slightly different than it used to. Um, let me, hold on a sec, let me oh, bury the town. Oh, there's a, there's the bury option right there. Oh, this guy's throwing heads. Oh, hey! Uh, that's a new thing. Are heads now a decent weapon? Do they have more than, uh, do they have more durability? Hobgoblin head. Okay, so actually, hold on. Let me let me pause it and let me just take a look around the user interface and see see what's new. I know there is indeed new stuff going on. Uh, game speed two, three, four. All right, there's up to game speed five now, which is very nice. Uh, that would be a lot of help for me when I go to make new. Ooh, look at that scary room. Uh, that'll be a lot of help for me when I need to do some sort of idle time. Oh, no. One thing that should be fixed is actually the... Yeah, this is... Uh, the colors are brighter. There's there's differences here in the uh, color scheme, the color palette. Uh, the managed group, if I turn hauling off for them... Let's, let's, just, let's just test this. Uh, that in version 11 would cause the game to just kind of crap itself and slow down a lot. Uh, that should, I believe, be fixed in this version, so we'll see. Uh, ooh, scary enemies. All right, and also in the, oh, let's see here, priorities, heroes, trade, citizens panel. Uh, disband, change jobs, rename, citizens. Oh, okay. Here, here's a set the minimum map level to hauling and equipping. Uh, okay, so it looks like the 
level is 12. Oh, it must keep track of, of what I've explored. So if I set this lower, uh, they will not... Hauling and equipping. So basically, you know how they run down in the dungeon to try to pick up tons of stuff? If I, if I do this... That's weird. Go up is... Wait. So up raises the number of the lower level I can... Oh, that's, that's weirding me out. I feel like... That should be... These should be flipped. Because it's... I mean, I know it's... So I'm going to click down, which makes the number go down, but it's actually making the level they go get the loot at go up. So I'm clicking this down to make the level go up at which they get the loot at, which raises the number. I just, okay, okay, all right. So, so and th this is... Oh, wait a minute, hold on a second. Oh, wait a minute, no. Set the minimum map level for hauling and equipping. Uh... Is that that one? Oh wait, no. This is listed here as negative. Uh, okay, so there's negative 19. So this must be how far it goes down. Uh, so if I have it... So the minimum map level for hauling and equipping... Ooh. So... How does this work? You know what? I think I've got the uh, supermarket on Skype right now. Let me go ask him real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, I just talked with uh, supermarket, and so it start. You'll notice that when I started this, it was set at positive twelve. Now, uh, that's actually that's that's positive. That's up in the air. Uh, so that's that's up here at. Uh, uh, height level 12. Uh, so, if I hadn't noticed this, what would have happened is no hauling or equipping would have been done, except at this level, which is currently just nothing but air. So this is actually a, an, an interesting way to temporarily just disable hauling and equipping temporarily by just, you know, making this number at max height, and then nothing will get done for hauling and equipping except at this max height level, which is, for, I would imagine, most towns nothing but air. Uh, so, yeah, I just, the reason I thought it was at 12 is because I, this is the dungeon level that I'm actually on right now. Although I guess technically I am down here at 13, maybe? Uh, it lets me scroll down to 14, so who knows. Um, okay, so, basically I need to actually make this go negative. So, if I make it at negative 10, that'll keep my people from hauling and equipping anything down below level 10. So right here, they'll haul stuff out of here, but not anything lower like down here at 12. So they'll stay out of the dungeon. And it will also, I believe, it, uh, does it, ah, here we go. You can also control how, uh, how deep heroes will explore level to explore so actually uh, all heroes right now should have st have just stopped exploring because of that and so yeah these two numbers uh, these two control right here and right here pretty much can let you have like a kind of an emergency evacuation order to get out of here uh, and it looks like these people are, f are fulfilling uh, what appears to be orders they had queued up and I'm gonna keep watching this in fact I think I'll make use of this oh there we go this faster speed setting uh, and then there you go speed level five yeah speed level five and uh, see what are you doing just okay now now the idle thing that's actually not a bug that is intentionally programmed I learned that uh, and it's to keep lower spec computers from uh, locking up under the strain of the game having lots of orders going on. The game basically limits how many tasks uh, townies can be doing at any given uh, 
instance or tick of the game. Uh, so what is this guy doing down here? Is he... Well, there's obviously... Okay, there's clearly some... Okay, here we go. So there's clearly some things here that need to be transported. And... Well, that was an autosave. And they are not being transported. At all. And... Other than this... No, are these guys exploring or not? Now, you guys are not supposed to be down here. Uh, like, level one ought to be the... Yeah, so if I set that at one... So nobody... Technically, nobody should be down here. Now, it might it might take a few... A little bit to that... Okay, for the, all the orders to go through. So back up at level one. This is where our heroes ought to be running around right now. Is just this level. Oh, a food caravan is coming. I like this new game speed. That makes uh, skipping time a lot faster. Now, so there's still some new stuff in here. There is a... I'll buy the snow cherries. Yeah, the graphics have been redone. Um, everything looks slightly differently. I think it looks like Burning Pet's been... Uh, been messing around with the uh, icons and whatnot. Um, I don't think I need anything. Uh, I will sell some... I guess I'll just sell off some wheat to make some money. Even the... Uh, even that is easier to see. This is a different color. This is a... Yeah, different. there's different colors in here. Um, Alright, unpause. So... Now, my citizens... Now, this group has hauling turned off. Right. And I'll turn trading back on, I guess. Uh, and feeding... Wait, no. No, my hauling and trader guys right here are supposed to be the ones doing... Doing the hauling and trading. And you guys are just supposed to... Yeah, you guys don't haul or trade or feed. You cook. That's what you do. Because I've got plenty of people dedicated to hauling and trading. Okay. Um, so my hauling and trading guys, I want all you guys do is just haul and you trade, and you mine and you make items and you build and you butcher. So basically, you don't cook or gather. So that's all you guys do. Okay. So let's take a look at our back down in the dungeon uh, down here. So this is still okay. So that's still down here, uh, and the heroes. So it took a it took a little bit for the those that those orders to uh, propagate because my townspeople still had some stuff to clear up. And I think I'll, I think I'll, let's go back to game speed four. There we go. Um, this four is still pretty quick, I think. Yeah, they're zipping around. Um. Now another thing I learned is that these pig farms, these like they're called buildings, but honestly they're not really buildings. They're just pre-built things. They're they're a lot like the utilities, really. Like the mill is, I mean, I guess it's because these take up multiple tiles is probably the biggest difference. But uh, these are going to be going bye bye. Uh, they'll be replaced with. Well, they're not. They're not quite sure. Uh, it's still being worked out what'll replace them. Um, I kind of, I kind of like these actually, but uh, whatever, we'll see. It's still in the planning phase, so nothing is is set in stone yet. Um, so okay, so let's let's talk about what's actually in this. Uh, now, further experimenting with the, the setting here. Where's the bottom level? Uh, we're on 12. Yeah, we're on 12 right here. Okay, so here's the stuff that needs to be hauled. And we will set the level... Uh, where is it? Citizens? Oh, it's on the citizen right here. Uh, down, down, down. Alright, so at level 12, they can come down here. And the heroes can also come down here to level 12. So this allows manual control of, of where you want your people to be. That's really handy. Uh, if I had had this... 30 episodes ago, I probably would have would have saved some some frustration 
and allowed me to stop my townspeople from uh, being stupid and running into the dungeons and just getting killed constantly to try to haul stuff. Um, and also the, the job man. Okay, so here they come. So now that they have orders to... Ooh, ooh. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Oh, to haul this stuff over here. Okay. And here come the heroes back down here. Okay, so that works. Shouldn't this be revealed with the person being here? Oh, it was the game, the game intentionally delaying events to... So that must be... Oh, got some combat going on here. You, uh, you want to shoot this zombie? Please? Oh, my guy won. So that's interesting that the game uh, delays itself to help help slower computers not uh, become overwhelmed. Um, I think... Oh, there's an actual rogue corpse there. Oh. Huh. Well, that's interesting. It looks like we lost a hero. Oh, well. I'm prepared to... Uh, Lose a few of those guys. Jasmine. Jasmine died. I lost a townie. Ooh, cave trolls. Now those guys are pretty strong. Uh, looks like we got a knight there. Oh, there's Sips. Oh, wow. Did Sips just die? Eh, the Yogscast guy died. Bye, Sips. Meh. Oh, well. Well, that's, that's kind of sad. Um... It's interesting that they leave specific corpses behind. I wonder if it's possible to resurrect him somehow. Yeah, he's dead. Man, look at this zombie getting shot down. Okay. Well, we lost uh, the Yogscast guy. And I know that that's shocking that a Yogscast person died in a video game <clears throat> because they're they're so renowned for their skill and how 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 good they are when they play um nah they uh, they're more about comedy and entertainment than playing the game and and excelling at it uh, which is which is fine they have their own style of doing stuff um i know when they played when some of the Yogg's cast people played uh, my Canopy Carnage map for Minecraft, they just cheated in tons of stuff. Like they and that kind of that kind of irritated me a bit. But I mean, they were having fun and enjoying it, so I guess that's what what's important. Um, but instead of actually playing the map like it was designed, they used it more of like a a stage to do their comedy bit that they do. So all right, so I mean, you know. I guess that's that's you know they got some use out of it so that's good. Um. Hmm. What's in here? Oh, a dire wolf. Oh, that'll go down easily. Whoa! That's a fun room. Uh, I think the zombie's the toughest thing in here. Oh, maybe that snicker blade wizard. What do you? What stats do you have? Wow. They have a lot of defense and a attack. Is it a match for the head crusher though? No, it's not. Yeah, this rogue here. Elizabeth Lures, that stole that hammer, she's uh, at the very least putting it to good use. That hammer is insane. Oh, she took a hit and got set on fire. Well, hopefully this area is good XP. She's level 30. Wow, nice. She's level 30. Yeah, she can buy a mount. Huh? Oh wait, no, they changed that, didn't they? It's level 20 now. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a cave troll. So, tell you what. Uh, citizens, let's uh, let's have you guys not be on level 12 anymore because this place is kind of dangerous. Yes, yeah, stay at a level 12. And so that order will propagate and my citizens will stop coming down here. Do have a constant source of immigrants though. Uh, so I'm kind of curious if... Uh, oh, outdoor. Oh. Huh. Syrian Caesar statue. Oh, okay. I think that's somebody from the forums. That's kind of cool. Got a statue named after him. And it would be it would be really cool if I had something in this game named after me. 
That that would just be awesome. Uh, I might have to build a Syrian statue at some point. That'd be that'd be that'd be neat, and I'll put it somewhere cool, make like a monument area. Uh, graves and tombstones. Ah, oh, a Sips tomb. Eh, I can make a Sips tomb. Oh, that's depressing. I don't want to make a tomb. I want to revive them. I get a dwarf tomb. Knight Highland. Well, well, I know what heroes are in the game now. Highlander tomb. I haven't seen dwarves or Highlanders. Guess I'll have to build underground taverns and mountain taverns. Um, rogue tomb. Herbalist tomb. Oh, an herbalist. I wonder how you get one of those. A mage tomb, barbarian tomb, sips tomb, a punchwood tomb. Man. Well, I don't want to make a tomb. I want to revive them. Uh, I need to figure out how to get the heroes back. Because they, they should be able to come back. So that, uh, what is this? A vex tomb. Oh. I got a tomb named after me. A Vex corpse? What? Why would I... Where would you get a... Oh, from a Vex hero. Because, you know, Vex hero is in the game now. Uh, this is this implies that I die, though. I, I don't I don't die. Vex, Vex doesn't die. That, you, don't, you don't need a tomb. This, is, this item here is redundant. I don't need that. It's kind of depressing seeing your own tomb. Yeah, that's really depressing. Yeah. Um, what other buildings are in the game now? What is this? Oh, okay. Uh, outdoor? Hmm. Eh, containers. Oh, uh, the containers, right. Yes, I was, I was going to demonstrate this. So, hey, you guys remember how I had to click, like, one at a time on all these containers here, and it took forever, and it was, it made me cry, and, and, and curse my life, and, oh, that's an herbalist. The the herbalist. So is that a unique hero then? He doesn't have a name. He's just called the herbalist. He's the herbalist. I don't. Mm, okay. He got a nature wand. Well, that's cool. Hmm. Uh, I have some combat going on down there. They're still down there clearing the uh, that level of the dungeon. That's cool. Okay. All right. So what what other uh, t version twelve stuff is going on here? Maybe I should go have a look at the pack. Oh, nice looking base. Everything looks so clean. I like the. I don't know. I I like these pins. They're so nice and orderly and neat and organized and not like a giant pin full of actual entities. Although, if they do turn into that, I do actually have uh, wheat here that they can eat, because I think that's that's one thing uh, that might be planned. If they do get rid of these, they'll have the... So you don't have to micro them so much, because they don't want to... I was talking with Ben about it, or Burning Pet, I should say, and they don't want to actually make you have to micromanage it. It's supposed to be automatic. Just explosive sprout bite zombies? Oh, yeah, that's right. This guy, uh, this herbalist guy, he's got pets, it looks like. It's an explosive sprout. That's kind of cool. Oh, wow, heroes with pets. I wonder if any other heroes in the game have pets. Whoa, what is that thing? A taunting trunk? Dude, herbalist is awesome. Look at all these things going all over the place. Hmm, okay. That's a dead rogue. Uh, still getting less immigrants. Oh man, this. What are they called? I don't quite remember. Uh. Bar oh, barbarians. Okay. I'm kind of surprised. Wait, did he die there? No, he didn't die. He lived. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, I'm starting to lose heroes now on a pretty pretty regular basis. This level of the dungeon is uh, appears to be quite dangerous. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm just I'm just going through heroes left and right. Wow. Hmm. So, all right. So the containers. Now, this is something that's not actually in uh, 
version 12, although it might be. They're thinking of adding this because of my feedback on how well awesome it is. Uh, this, watch, check this out. Um, so before I had to click, like each one of these was just me clicking. Click, 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 click. Oh, I hated it. I couldn't stand it. It was so, I was like, by the time I got to the end, I was just like, I was just crying. I was like, ah, oh, this sucks so much. Why is it like this? Oh, hey, different art. Check out the uh, different artwork for vertical ladders. That looks, I like that. It looks good. Hmm. Okay. Um, so over here, there's different artwork. Looks kind of, are there new ladders by any chance? Nope. Okay. Maybe they should add an iron one that looks more permanent. Because that, that one looks kind of rickety and uh, like flimsy, like something you would erect, make uh, temporarily. I think an, uh, an iron one and a stone one would be cool. So it, you have different levels of, you know, just to make it look more sturdy, I guess, and permanent. <laughs> the herbalist died already. Wow. Well, I guess he wasn't a very good hero after all. We're only on dungeon level negative uh, 12 down here. I sure hope he's not unique, because if so, that was probably the shortest lived hero ever. Yeah, your, uh, your boss died, you tree person. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I really hope he was not supposed to be a unique hero, because if he was, then man, he died like nothing to just wow okay uh it's like dead heroes everywhere <laughs> uh, this is funny well as long as they kill like clear this place out eventually i'll be happy all right let's go back up how's the how's the iron doing so if they want to get here's the thing though if they get rid of the buildings what are they going to do about the iron because having like a renewable source of iron so far has been really important to me uh like, if my guys were in, I don't know, bone armor or wood, I don't know if it... Well, for one, they wouldn't look as cool, because the iron does look cool. And two, I don't know, it'd be kind of... I think the game would get a lot harder, and the game's already pretty challenging. Especially at this dungeon, the level of the dungeon. So, uh, auto-equip... Chain, yeah, I wanna, yeah, auto equip you guys. And you guys are all fine. There they go, yes. Okay, yeah, I like this uh, higher speed. This is very nice. Things are getting done on camera uh, faster, and I'm not having to, I don't feel like I need to skip as much time. Um, and doing stuff off camera. Um, let's go back up. Oh, wait, no, down. Alright, so right here, this is, watch this. So before I'd have to click like once, like click, click, click. Yeah, screw that. Screw that. that that's stupid. And I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm doing this instead. Oh, look at this! Oh, look at that! Look at that! It's done! Done! Like, two seconds! That took less than two seconds. That took, like, one second to click and drag. And it's done. And and look at that. And it's all it's all queued up and ordered. I can make... Like, how long would this... Like, this took me... Click, 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 click. This took me forever to make before. What would it take now? What would it take now? Would it take this? Ah! Uh, boom! It'd be done. I, I'm kind of, like... It's a it's a great addition, and I think that should be in the vanilla game, or at the very least an option to toggle. Like you should a have access to that in the vanilla game somehow without having to get a custom file to put in. Um, so make it a toggle or a mod that's included with the game. I don't know something like that, uh, because that's that's incredibly useful. Because you need lots of these barrels to hold any quantity of substance. Uh, substance of quantity so quantum of solace i don't know you know what i mean uh it, it takes a lot of these unless you i i uh burning pet told me that a lot of people just mod these which if a lot of people are modding these that might say something that maybe they just need to hold more by default so 
uh, unless unless you're we're supposed to have like giant areas like this if this is intended to have this much space or if maybe I'm just not intended to have resources on hand but I don't think I've done anything that exceptional I like all these row corpses are resources by the way um Yeah, I kind of want to build like a... We ought to be able to carry the corpse back to the hospital and have them revived. I think that'd be cool. Uh, yeah, hospital. Tavern, balcony. Is that new artwork for the tavern? I don't see any new zones, so there's no new zones. Okay. Um... Yeah, because this is a lot of storage, but I feel like I need this. Uh, apparently, though, my town, like, this is a big town. Or huge, I think, is what Burning Pet said. This is, like, my town is huge. Now, I I thought, like, a huge town was, like, 500 or something. Or 600, or maybe even 1,000 people. So I actually thought my town was kind of small in the grand scheme of things. Uh, so, but apparently it's huge. So, and I think I kind of see that because I've noticed, you know people not carrying out orders and that delay is I'm starting to notice that delay because I have so many people I guess well uh, so that's a sign I guess that the game thinks I have a big town um, which kind of makes me wonder if there's a delay like this on the fishing and whatnot uh, how how am I going to actually feed a thousand people if there's because theoretically the food production is capped by how many commands the game will allow me to execute uh, at any given one time and if a hundred percent of that is taken up by food production then that is the hard cap on how much food I can ever make and that sets a limit on how many townspeople like I can have theoretically I'm just I'm just, you know, guessing here. Well, I'm making an educated guess. Um, wait, why is that not road? That's supposed to be road right there. Let me go change that. Um, maybe they made all the roads the, the same now. That'd be cool. Um, or at least add the, the values that they improve movement by so I could see. Uh. Okay. So let's take a look at the, the food, because I always have to keep an eye on this, because I, I do have, like, 206 people right now. So that means that, like, a single eating uh, cycle, I guess, a single cycle of them eating food, I mean, that's, that's suddenly 206 food items that are now gone out of my stockpile. So I'm always concerned with my food, because... Uh, I mean, how much? I mean, how much food do I have? Like, let's say, let's say, 500, 600, 700, 800. Uh, basically, like 800, and then whatever baking stuff I have, some piddly little amount of cactus soup. I'm not even gonna count it. 800, 1100. So, uh, yeah. So that that's like within six, uh, six hunger cycles. I would be out of food, and especially playing at this increased game speed, I would imagine uh, that could happen faster than I think it could. So I have to stay on top of food production, cooking, and yes, I've been micromanaging these uh, orders here for the steak. How's the butchering going? That's what I was looking at last time. Yeah, these are as long as these here are queued up, and there's not even oh, I have I hit the chicken cap. And chickens are, yeah, I, when I see a certain animal piling up here, I need to do a custom order and butcher uh, lots of it. Make tons of chicken! Yes, make make all the chicken. There we go. So they'll, they'll come get all these chicken. And uh, I'll put on level, level 5 speed. I love this level 5 game speed. It's cool. You just watch them zip in and grab all the chickens. And then down here... It's like a fast. Yeah, it's it's basically fast forward from my uh, my last episode where I did I actually sped it up, and you saw that, 
Wait. Did I have people starve? No, I didn't. I just, I just stopped being able to count, apparently. Look at all that chicken being built. 42, 41, 39. These are the outstanding orders here. That I, or, or Orders I have outstanding. Um, if I say outstanding orders, it makes it sound like they're exemplary. Because uh, outstanding apparent, uh, has multiple meanings. Um, man, I have a tendency to ramble, don't I? Yeah, and it's already done. Like, all that chicken is, is already done. And... Uh, an autosave? Oh. And the haulers should run in here and uh, haul it all away. So I think I have a pretty smooth running town now. And we seem to be subsisting mostly on fish, and I do occasionally uh, manually order up some stuff for variety's sake. And... And it looks like we still have some room back here in our food chests. Um, so another I idea is like to see the max capacity of uh, well, that'd be something for the uh, info panel. What is that? Um, Vex the bird miner dies? Did Vex come and I didn't even notice? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I, there's a, there's a slight bug right there. Uh, I think it should be Vex the bird miner without the S, but, uh. Yeah, and uh, I had to double check real fast with Super Malaprit. Um, there we go. Uh, to ask him about the revive system. Uh, the revive system is not in the game yet. So right now, Vetches here is just gonna lay there like a like a dumbass. Get up, lazy bones. He's just gonna sit there and be stupid. That's cool. We'll uh, we'll get uh, probably in the next, probably in the next build. It should be. It should make it into version twelve. The uh, release version of version twelve. I don't think that'll be pushed back till version thirteen. The the revive system. I talked with Super Super Malaprit and uh, Burning Pet about this. Um, there were s several ideas being bounced around. Uh, one I actually suggested was if a hero goes down like this guy uh, it would say injured Vex and then your townspeople would have to he'd basically he'd be an item uh, and your townspeople would have to come down here and pick him up and then take him to the hospital so Actually, I actually suggested that, and um, Supermarket liked that, but I think he's going to go with a more simpler, uh, a more simple system, and that is they just, they basically just get back up after a certain amount of time goes by, but that's not in the game now, so he's just going to stay there right now. But eventually, uh, on the next version of the game, he'll, uh, after enough time goes by, he'll get back up, and so will the other other heroes. Now, <clears throat> if there is no corpse left behind, uh, I don't, uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, he was explaining how there's like a, a list internally kept in the game about uh, which heroes have died. Now, nothing is set in stone, so it could be a different system than what I've told you, but basically there will be a way to revive heroes somehow. Uh, not, we're not totally sure yet exactly what it will be. Uh, but Punch will, like Sir Punchwood, he will, um, he'll eventually be able to come back somehow. So we'll see. And 
And even if it, even if like the first version is just like a basic, like you know, just wait long enough and they come back. In the future, you know, it could change to something else. Like you might have to spend some sort of resource or something, or wait. Well, time time is a resource, I guess, especially if you're playing on a hard version, where uh, oh, here comes people with the lightning and the that red that red hammer man is so strong. It's just kill. It's just killing everything. Uh. But imagine if, say, I think, I think the first revival time we talked about was six months. So if your hero dies, uh, if you get a custom hero killed, you'll have to wait six months to for them to be able to come back. So that's a that's a pretty long time, uh, especially if you're playing on a harder game mode with lots of sieges. That means you're gonna have to go six months without the help of that hero. So that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty decent penalty like you wouldn't want to just let them die uh, but on the good side if they do die you know you don't have to you don't feel like you have to just delete your game because uh, like if if I knew that like Vex was gonna stay dead uh, and because I didn't even get to see him fight like we just I think I was talking about where, where, where is he where even is he where is he at See, somewhere. Dang it. Um. There he is. Oh, he's up here. Okay. Uh, like, if I knew he was going to stay dead, I'd be really depressed right now. I would feel like I would either have to just restart from my like backup save game, or something like that. Uh. And. Because this game is like a, a sandbox game, kind of, like, permanently losing something like that, I don't think that really should be in the game, unless it's a hardcore mode that you specifically enable from the very beginning, so you know that, you know, you're going to permanently lose things. Uh, but in, like, the normal version, normal mode, uh, I think given enough time, you you should be able to recover from anything short of, like, everybody in your town dying, so. Uh, because you could, like, given enough, theoretically, given enough time, if you did lose all your good armor and equipment, using the merchant system, you could eventually get enough gold ingots to craft some armor and get some good equipment on your guys again. So even that is recoverable, if you're willing to wait long enough. So um so I think the hero system should be the same. Like if you're if you're just willing to wait long enough, um, you know, they should be, be able to come back. Um so yeah, that's it. That's the new hero. I I'm really I'm sad that we didn't get to see him fight, but it looks like this level has been tearing up my heroes. Now last episode I don't remember having this much of a problem. But if you recall, it, this is exactly what I said that I thought would happen, is that the very first instance of you coming down here, everybody's grouped up in the first few rooms of the dungeon level, and as people spread out more and get separated from each other, the chances of your people being outnumbered uh, go up substantially as they get away from the uh, main entrance to the dungeon level. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, Vex, both Vex and the Herbalist came at the point in time where we had already broken through the first few rooms and they probably wandered off, I assume, by themselves and got overwhelmed and outnumbered and died. Um, oh, there's a Nature's Wand. I don't, did Vex even drop anything? Huh. Where was he? Wasn't he back up here? Yeah, there he is. Uh, let's poof that stink cloud. No, he didn't drop anything, so he must uh, he must need some equipment. I'll have to figure out a reliable way to get heroes to pick up equipment and use it. Okay, so it looks like we'll have to wait for the uh, revive system to come in to show off uh, the herbalist and the vetches here. Uh, I do know what Vex can do. I do know his moves. I kind of sort of picked them out from 
uh, all the other moves, and and I think he's got some existing moves that you'll recognize that other heroes have. And then he's got all some all new special abilities uh, that should be pretty cool. So maybe maybe our guy here just uh, needs to get some better gear. And I'll, I'll like I said I'll have to figure out a way. How do I get? What's a good way to get them to pick up gear? I'm not sure. They don't seem to have... Now, Vex does use... Uh, he should use bows. So... Oh my god. It's that noise again. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now, Vex uses bows. So, I guess... Mm, I ought to put... Where's his room, by the way? Like, this was meant to be Vex's room. Uh, that's what it was supposed to be. And he just, the other heroes dying made room for him to come. Because I wanted to, I wanted to know when he arrived. And I don't even, does he even have an actual room? I don't think he does. Uh, tavern room, tavern room. No, he doesn't even seem to, he must be one of the, one of the, because the, the basic tavern supports a certain number of heroes. I think it might be five. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. I think it's five. So, personal room, tavern room. Let's go ahead and just put the tavern room there. And uh, let's go ahead and decorate it. So, no, no, no Vetch's combat. No Vex combat this episode. Sorry, guys. He... But as soon as I get a chance to actually watch him in combat, I'll... Uh, I'll show it off, and it'll be... Hopefully, it'll be cool. Um, ah, There's the pot plant. That's what I was looking for. Okay. And I think I need a candlestick in here, don't I? Yeah, there we go. Got a candlestick in there. And our badger is still just wandering around. Okay. Taunting trunk dies? Oh, it looks like we lost that, that trunk that was wandering around finally died. Okay, so what else is in version uh, 12 that I can show off to you guys? Uh, let's go through. Is there any new decor? Ooh, look at that! Inward grass, diagonal grass block, rounded grass block. Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh, this is new. Uh, rounded... Ooh, that's pretty. I believe uh, Burning Pet is responsible for the artwork here. So, hey, Burning Pet, good job. I like these. These are pretty. Uh, hmm. Sand, mud, bone, sand wall. Ooh, that looks nice. Ice wall, glass walls. I think these were in the last version, but these are definitely new for sure. Rounded clay ball. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of the uh, Zelda on Nintendo, the first, the first Zelda game. The, that orange, like very orange color that the cliffs were made out of? What does this look like in the game? Uh, hold on a sec. Let me just let me just use my ability to uh, drag a square instead of a line. Yep. That's uh, that's just in my version of the version 12 preview build. Um, Burning Pet actually made that custom for me because I requested it. And they're thinking of putting it in the actual game. Yeah, look at that. That looks nice. Ooh! Oh, it's rounded. So it makes the the edges... R oh, nice looking. Ah, that looks really good. I like that. Okay, now when you minimize it, it, it goes back to being square. But I guess that's to show you easily uh, where the boundaries are. And, but when you actually make it like that, it uh, that looks so good. I love the way these look. Okay. So destroy, cancel. These aren't going to work. Yeah, that doesn't work. So I'm still going to have to come in here and like right-click destroy all this stuff. So maybe I shouldn't have put down too much, but I just wanted to show off that I could. Well, you know, that, that might be a nice place for a statue up there, now that I think about it. You know what? Huh. Yeah, how about... Uh... Let's do another lair. You know, that's not, that's not a bad idea. Uh, where are you at? Decorative, outdoor, Syrian. 
I think, I believe, yes, I remember you from the forums. I think we actually talked one time. Um, oops, did I put the wrong wall? I think I just did. I'm such a derp. Other rounded clay. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Ah, I'm so silly. No, hold on a sec. Right click destroy. Right click destroy. Right click. What if I shift click that? Does that do it? No. Okay. Still. Right click destroy. Right click destroy. Right click destroy. Right click destroy. Shadows look nice too. Uh, yeah, this one. This is the one I want. There we go. All right, guys, can build this for me. And we are going to put a silver Syrian statue on top of it. That's under decorations outdoor. That takes four silver. So that that's a good that's a good item. Did, did this get built yet? Oh, we still we're missing one. Oh, here it comes. Ah, there we go. And then we need to put the Syrian statue. Uh, that's going right up here. Yeah, that goes right there. Maybe we should put some flags on it, too. What do you think? I don't know. Ooh, how about some stone statues on the corner? What would that look like? Like one there, 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 and there. Can I Can I place these? Can I? Oh, no, I can't click and drag them. Let me cancel that before they put the statue down there. Okay. So now we've got some statues queued up here. Oh, here they come. Oh, looking good. Actually, no, look, not really looking all that good. Well, mostly these things right here. Those don't look good because they're they're squared on the bottom, and then okay. So, all right. Well, that looks good. I like that. Nice. And you know what else we ought to do is uh, where are the roads? There's the white pavement road that I like a lot. Let's put road around it, and then have it. It's got to be symmetrical here. There we go. And then I think I can surround this with uh, what would look good. Well, blue is red's complement, so. Oh, look at that! The decorations! Did I used to be able to do that? I don't even remember. There we go. Nice little decorative, decorative area. And I think... How's my... Oh, how's my food doing? Gotta go check on the food. Food's fine. You know what? I think I'm going to blow up these two things and then plant some. Uh... Hmm. Cubicle bush, spherical. Let's plant a spherical bush because the thing itself here is spherical. There we go. Almost done. Got to wait on the uh, bushes to get here. What does that take to make? Mud? Bush or pine tree bush or mushroom bush? Mud and stone. Uh, do I actually have to harvest these? Oh, wait. I need to go down to this level. Do I need to harvest those? Or what? chop them? Uh, cut them? There we go. Is that what I need to do? To... Oh, wait, no, they build it. Oh, well, maybe... I don't know. Oh, that looks good. I like that. That looks very nice. Uh, Syrian, I, if you're watching this, I don't know if you are, but if you are, I made a statue for you, and it looks awesome. So, there you go. Uh, okay, so, now what? Well, let's see. Uh... I tell you what I want to do. I just I just want to keep looking through all these menus here. Uh, logs. Ooh, diagonals. Cool. Okay. Uh, wood. Hmm. I don't think I see wooden dark wall. Uh, wooden walls. Oh, okay. Uh, 
stone, limestone. Now it's possible there could be something new and I might not notice it. And if that's the case, please forgive me. But I think I, stone wall, stone brick walls. That's new. Those are friggin' Mario blocks right there is what that is. Oh, look at that. That looks cool. Hey, Burning Pet. I like that too. Ooh. Those look almost kind of high tech. I don't know why. They're very... Huh. What's going on down there? Oh, they're still clearing this level. Slowly but surely. How are my heroes doing? Is, is Red Hammer still alive? Yes, she is. Well, I've lost all my custom heroes on this level, but Red Hammer right here is still alive, so that's good. Um, hmm. In a little while, I think I'll, it might be safe enough to let my hero, let my normal townspeople haul from down here. And the sad thing is, I actually care more about the heroes than my normal people, because they're the normal guys are so easy to replace now. Oh no, it's still dark. It just looks less dark. Hmm. Um. Yeah, let's go back up. I have so much storage space, it's awesome, isn't it? Anyway. Scaffolding, stone bricks. Yeah, I like these. Um. Stone roofs. I still haven't used... Oh, market roofs. Oh, it's made from hide. I see. Dome roof. Ooh, a dome roof. Takes stone. That's kind of cool. Alright. Um, decorative. Is there anything new in here? I don't think so. Is, that, is the hedge fence new? Oh, I don't know. Well... If you see something new, then you know it's new, but I don't quite remember, so I'll move on. And then back here to other... Yeah, a lot of new stuff in here. Looks really good. I like it. I love I love all these new new blocks. You guys did a really good job with this. Uh, okay. Buildings, no. Containers, no. Decorations, don't see any there. Outdoor, uh, obviously that. And I think that's it. Um, doors? Any new doors? Nope, don't see any new doors. How about windows? Uh, no new windows. I don't believe... Is that new? I don't think it's new. I don't know. Um, uh, furniture, planting... I don't think we got any new actual... Uh, Nothing in here is new, I don't believe. Was there a new ladder in here? I don't think so. And... Oh! Oh yeah! This thing! That's right! I don't even remember the forum post about this. I posted in there. This is the bamboo trap. It is, a, an, it is an area of effect trap. Uh, how is the best way to show this off? It takes bamboo. So, here's a, here's a very important use of bamboo. I think this is a... Okay, so the log trap is really easy to make just because it's bones and uh, wood. The you were fighting an, a werewolf. Did you beat the werewolf? Have I even seen a werewolf yet, or was I just not looking when there was one? I'm so bad at this sometimes. Uh... Hmm. Is that, uh, is that Vex's corpse right there? I think it is. Oh, well, I guess it finally decayed. Um, well, it doesn't really matter. He'll come back. Okay. I don't see any more werewolves. I th oh, wait, I think they, I think everything's clear down here. Except for these things, but they're not very threatening. No, they have kind of low attack. 
So I think it's safe to finally do this. There we go. So my we should see a giant flood of people coming down here. Maybe. Eventually. Um, maybe. Do... So you guys do everything except hauling and trading and feeding. And you guys do everything except... Well, cooking and feeding, okay. Huh. I see a lot of chickens. Oh, oh, I see a lot of chickens. Oh, hey, that's really fast. They made that faster. It feels more fluid now, too. Let me cook a bunch of chicken stuff. Uh, you know what? You know what I think I'll do? I'm just going to let everybody do everything. Because, actually, except, well, yeah, nobody feeds. I don't, I don't want any animals being fed. Yeah, everybody can do everything. Just for now. Because I'm still messing with stuff. Uh, also, you guys need to auto-equip. Like, all you guys need to auto-equip. And I should have enough uh, materials to cover that. Well, except for the people who are sleeping, too. Um... Well, I've ordered up some stuff, but I don't see that many people cooking down here. I didn't pause the game, did I? Or is this more of the game throttling itself? Oh, no, there they go. I, yeah, I think this is the game um, kind of slowing itself down. I assume... I could be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, there's a bunch of... Oh, I think I think I know what's happening. So there's a bunch of hauling commands right now, right? So that, that cuts into the amount of potential orders that can be happening at any one time. Yeah, see all these people down here uh, idling? The game is limiting itself. Now maybe what they could do is allow you to have some control over this because I have a p pretty um, fast computer. I've got a uh, 3.4 gigahertz core i7. Uh, quad core, I think, or is it eight core? No, no, it's quad core. Um, so I think I can handle more st more stuff going on. In fact, let's put it on game speed five and see how long. Yeah, they're just kind of sitting around. This could be a bug too. I mean, this could not be intended. Um. But it, if, if it is a bug, it's very important that I get this on, on film so I can show uh, the developers so they can, they can see like what's going on when I talk about it. Okay, so here's some people, and they're supposed to be hauling, but they're just kind of standing around. Let me try adjusting. the. It's on max game speed right now. Let me put it on the game speed 1. So this is the slowest game speed. Maybe the game speed makes a difference here. Your task is to haul, yeah. So, Sibylin Komenian, I wish it would tell me what group you were in. Let's go try to find you. And you're wearing a red hat. Oh, you've got a trickster. That'll make you easy to find. Uh, so you're one of the people with a trickster around here. Are you in managed group? I got so many people in here. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, there you are. Nope, not you. Uh... Let's see. Is this you? Sybil and Coleman? Uh, your task is to haul. So where are you at? Oh, she, there she goes. She's finally going. Uh, well, there they go. Um, let's see if I can speed the game back up now. I don't... I don't know if... I wonder what effect the game speed would have with uh, the throttling of potential commands. Like, if it's... Uh, oh, there's some combat going on. We got a hero in here with an iron mace of the turtle. Um, I don't know if that iron mace is going to be enough to get him by there. He's probably going to have to run. You better get out of there. And we're on game speed three right now, so. Oh, here comes Red Hammer. 
Uh, pretty sure Red Hammer is going to have this. Now, at least it it appears that the uh, enemies are also affected by the idling, which is good because I would call so much BS if my people were just standing around and the enemies weren't... Uh, like, if my people were standing around while the enemies were just attacking them and dealing damage and they weren't fighting back at all, oh, I would call so much BS on that. That would be really... You know, I just kind of realized the zombie faces have Hitler mustaches. I'm just looking really close at that, and... Yeah, I've got it on game speed 5 right now, so... And these two guys are just kind of standing here. So this must be the idol... Uh, or the, thro the throttling of allowed commands going on at any one time. Hmm. Yeah, game. we're on game speed 5. And they're just standing around. Alright, well, we'll just, we'll just watch them and see how long it takes for them to uh, snap out of it and start acting and doing stuff. Oh, there was somebody right there running off. I guess I can order, always order up more chicken. Okay, so he just ran off without attacking the zombie. Oh, now here's something I'm kind of curious about. Helfred de Buck? Oh, you just... Oh, well, as soon as I looked at you, you snapped out of it and started attacking. Now, one thing that would kind of suck is if they were standing around and they're... Oh, like, okay... Like this guy, Catherine to pinch it. I'm never. All right, let's let's pause the game. I want to find out something here. Catherine to pinch it. You're hauling right now, but that doesn't necessarily tell me. All right, let's go down the list. I'm gonna find you. Damn. You're all the way on this list. There she is. Okay. So let's look at this. So she's hauling right now. And as soon as I look at her, she wakes up. What is... Damn it! I wonder if, if looking at them makes them uh, makes the game give focus to them. Because that happened with the... It seemed to have happened with the hero. Okay, fourth wind Fu. He's... Let me look at... Okay, you're just standing there. And you're not... You should reveal that location, but you're idle right now. You're being throttled. You're being throttled, I believe. So, let's find you. Fourth wind foe. There you are. So, you're meat fulfilled. I can't see your stats, though. Like you're... Okay. Well. Oh, do we have a caravan? It's not ready to trade. What kind of caravan is it? Oh, Pinky Merchant. They always have more money. Hmm. Yeah, I wish I knew if... Uh... I wish I could see their sleep and hunger stats here. That would make it easier, but instead I have to find them on that list. Um... I just need to find somebody with a custom weapon, like uh, one that really stands out on the list, or some sort of custom armor, uh, and then quickly be able to find them on the list. That's what I need. Uh, but all these people are, like, identical. Yeah. Oh, dang it. Like you right there. Like this guy, Jacqueline De Place. Let me. All right. Let me pause the game and go find her. Um. <sighs> hmm. 
Dang it. Come on. Ah, there she is. Okay, her task is haul and as soon as I look at her, they all wake up. Okay, that is driving me crazy. All right, so it looks apparently looking at them on the uh, citizens menu makes them makes them wake up, makes the game uh, give focus to them. Apparently, I don't know what's going on. Uh, so, Burning Pet and Super Malaprit. If uh, you watch this, maybe you can see if there's any problems that you see of how you want the game to function and what it is or isn't doing, because I have, I have no idea. Uh, these people getting bamboo. Huh, okay. Well, I think I wanted to show off this, but I do believe they, they've killed pretty much everything on, this on the floor of this dungeon. All except for this ghost down here, but I th that'll be dead. At the rate my people are moving around, uh, that that thing will be dead by the time I get a trap down here. So I have to show this trap off uh, some other way somehow. Uh... Oh man, look at that! And those lightning guys just running around here zapping everything. Wow. This hero is just running in here, just wasting everything, and they're not responding, because that's... You know what this kind of reminds me of? Is in games where... A multiplayer game where everybody is lagging, except for one person, and that one person is just running around killing everybody, because nobody else is really moving, but that one person is running around moving just fine, and killing everybody. Because that hero just ran in there and wasted that entire room. Uh... Yeah, that's exactly what it what it looks like to me. Uh, only it's a single player game, so well. Let's go back to game speed three for now. No, hold on a second. Now game speed five. Let's look at these people here. Let's go down to four, three, two. Hmm. So I'm on game speed two. Now are they still uh, standing around? Yes, they are. So even on game speed two, they they still are. So I'm not sure if the speed of the game makes any difference here. Wow, game speed three feels slow after being at five. Um, let's see what else is uh, on the list here. Camping. I think that's it. I think that's all the. Uh, features here, and there isn't any. Nope, any new hats? Well, oh, I haven't really looked close at the vanity items before, so if there is, I wouldn't would not know. Uh, Pinky merchant. Uh, oh, are there any uh, birds in cages or animals in cages? Because I know that's in the game. They'd probably be at the bottom, I suppose. Oh, hey, he's got uh, tombs. It's kind of funny. Is that because the corpses are gone? So I can get tombs of like... Or is he just... I think they made the statues more expensive. Oh no, he's just selling tombs of everything, it looks like. And he's selling... Oh, he's selling a dwarf tomb, and I know for sure I've never even had one of those. So, okay. Well, let's sell a bunch of stuff to him, for sure. And... Yeah, I totally want those golden statues, because they're useful. And I'll make up by selling tons of bamboo back to them. There we go. Trade. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, oh, let's go look at new weapons and see if there's anything on the list. I don't think there is. Um. No. Uh. Silver spear. 
Silver magic bent sword. Was the spear in here? No. Yeah, I think this is this was all here. Uh, same with bone, stone, iron. Yeah, wood. Yep. Yeah. Uh, cold and set. Yeah. Um, there's boots of haste. There's boots of haste. So, does that still take? That still takes bird. Yes, it still takes bird. So I have to, I'll have to figure out a way to get uh, to increase my quantity of the precious bird resource. Um, okay, so it looks like I, th I think I've seen everything except the berry system. Because uh, I'm, I'm just I'm just looking around right now for anything that's new, and so I've seen that and the priorities. That looks the same. So there's the trade. Any new buttons up here? Settings, mouse. Uh, settings, berry, save. Well, there's obviously... So the berry system is the main thing, probably. And also... Uh, pulse around. The berry system and the level controls here seem to be the biggest, biggest addition... Uh, and for me, obviously, the change to be able to just do that and put down a ton of ton of stuff is really cool. And obviously, there is some new uh, walls over here. Okay, so I think I'll call it here. I've been going a long time, but just because I wanted to see everything and just kind of do a preview of it. Uh, so what still is probably going to be in 12, probably the revive system of some kind will be in version 12 and... The I don't know if there'll be anything else, but you never know. Uh, you know, the devs cruise the forums, and sometimes they see stuff like that bamboo trap, and you know, think it's a good good idea. And then suddenly, you know, next thing you know, it's in the game, which is really cool. Um, the nice thing about just having, you know, a s small developer is they can be nimble like that and quickly respond to stuff. Whereas a, a big, you know. Uh, a really big company. They don't really do things like that. Um, okay, so I think that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little preview of uh, version 12. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take it easy.